welcome back to my channel my name is Danzy and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be a patterns video I'm going to show you guys how to wear patterns now you might be someone who shies away from wearing patterns or you don't know how to kind of incorporate them into your looks I want to show you guys some of the styles that I would do for myself and then maybe inspire you to jump outside your box or your circle and head into wearing some patterns because they're fun why not wear them wear them proudly so if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell as well so you can get notified of when i upload new videos because i do do quite quite a few a week and you don't want to miss them i will also link the color series up above which is what started all of this um how to wear like all different colors and i thought i'm going to branch out into patterns because i'm sure there are people out there who are unsure about patterns and i want to show you that patterns are fun to work with so we may as well get started into the video i know you guys want to see what i have planned i'm really excited because i do have lots of patterns i have all sorts of patterns and i must say i'm not someone who mixes patterns too much but i feel like you can really do that you can totally mix them and enjoy yourself and have fun okay guys may as well let's get this video started Hey guys and this is look number one so look number one is animal print and this is I always get confused between leopard and cheetah print but this is one of those looks so what I wanted to show you guys was that you could wear leopard print I'm gonna go with leopard um, with a red top so rather than black because mainly I would normally wear a black top and maybe black boots with this and I wanted to show you to think outside the box and pop a bright red because I feel like the bright red looks so good. It stands out, it's classy, it looks really nice. So this red top, I got it from Rev Dolls. I did get it a while ago. It kind of had a crisscross at the top, but I cut that because it was a little bit annoying. And I've just turned it into its own little top. And this skirt I got from Boohoo, I want to say it's probably a while back now like maybe two years ago but I really like it it's really cute and then these little booties are from City Chic uh, I will try and link if there's anything that I've gotten that's a little bit newer I'll try and work with newer stuff as I go in a lot of my videos because I have noticed people have been asking for links unfortunately when I do do my styling videos they're usually just things that I've dug out of my closet that I've had for quite a long time uh, when I do hauls, I definitely link those. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check out the hauls. I definitely link those out outfits. These are more for inspiration because I want to show you guys just a little bit of ideas and inspiration of how you can wear certain things. I hope the lighting is good today also because it's raining outside and there's not really much light. Uh, it looks okay in the viewfinder, so I hope it's okay. Alright, so I've also paired these black booties because I think black, you could definitely wear nudes. I wanted to show you guys black with this look because I have a black little clutch as well. And this is a really cute look for night time, to go for dinner, to go for a drink, to go on a date. I think it's a super cute look. It's definitely wearing a pattern. It is wearing bold and bright. However, it really works. I especially love this look for winter when the weather's a little bit cooler. If it's summer and it's hot, I would totally wear like a singlet or you can wear a singlet and a cardigan. That also works. But maybe I want to show you guys that red works with like leopard print really nicely. And this is a really cool look and give it a go and try it. <laughs> okay guys, so this second look is, as you can see, stripes. So what I've done here is I've done stripes on stripes. So I have this just plain tank stripey top and I have this stripey skirt. Now I've had this for quite a while and I've worn them really often enough because this skirt I think it was from, I want to say it was from Target, uh, so comfy, it's got the little split there, but it's so comfy, it's got pockets, it's got elastic waist, it is so comfortable. Now, what I, and I do quite often wear it with the stripes, so they're separate, but I've kind of made them match so then they coordinate together, so it's two different stripes, however, what makes it work is that the stripe difference is like the same, so they're not tight stripes, they're kind of wide stripes and they both work really well together and then the contrasting colors as well navy and white navy and white and opposite and i feel like it looks so good together it's totally a look that i wear quite often with a stripey skirt for example you could totally wear a skirt like this just a plain white top that would look cute as well or a plain yellow top uh with navy a lot of colors definitely go you could wear a red top that would also look cute but i want to show you guys how you can wear stripes all the way down 
Oh, Chippy is in ten listening, guys. Uh, so I've just put some white heels on because I feel like they look cute, and also the skirt is nice and long as well. Uh, I do on occasion, or probably quite often, wear sneakers with this outfit because I feel like sneakers are so comfortable, and then you can walk around all day and be super comfy. So I highly recommend sneakers, even a t-shirt. They that looks really good together. And what I've done here is I've popped a bit of color in the bag, and I've got my. I love this color bag. Uh, what is this? Like a magenta -y kind of color. Uh, it looks really cute. So with an outfit like this that's simple in colors, you could totally get a standout bag if you like. Uh, I would go with a block color in the bags. That's my personal preference. Uh, just to not clash too much because I'm a little bit more of a matchy-matchy type of a person. I'm your like everyday fashion, not like fashion week kind of a person because I feel like people who do fashion week are really into... Are totally going um, different patterns and styles and sometimes sometimes I feel like for the right occasion that works but I want to give you guys more like everyday kind of looks and I feel like this is nice and simple everyday works for us all so this is look number two let's try this and this next look is how to wear plaid so I have here this plaid skirt uh, this is a nice stretchy one so it's not that nice that thick material that usually comes in so this is like a little bit deceiving um, and this is the skirt that I upcycled myself so I popped this black like a band so it's another skirt that I turned into like a band I popped some bottom buttons here uh, to turn it into a different skirt now normally uh, people would myself included style with the black top now when I popped on the black top it just made it look like a long black top with the skirt and it kind of wasn't the look that I was going for so I just wanted to show you how you could wear a few different things so what I've done is I've put on a nude top and then I've popped this scarf over it and the scarf also has a little bit of a pattern but it's uh, more towards black which then goes with the band over here and then having the new top breaks up the black color pattern so it's not just a long black top like there's a little bit more of emphasis on a little bit of a scarf and just it's, it's not just too plain uh, I've also popped on some nude pumps because they you know they kind of match the nude but it also nude looks cool with the outfit and just nice and neutral that it doesn't uh, it's not too harsh but I really like this scarf. I feel like when you wear it off the shoulder like this, if you're someone who wants to hide your arms a little bit and maybe it's hot, it's totally like kind of covers the arms there. And then if you're hot, you can just take that off and then you're right. Um, if you're colder, you can actually open it up a little bit more and cover yourself. So it's kind of like another way to wear a cardigan, but it's a little bit different. Uh, I've just got a plain black clutch. And I think this look is really put together. It's different. It's funky. It's a total look that you could wear day or night. I mean, if you find the heels are too much, definitely pop on some flats. If you don't have nude flats, you can wear white ones or you can wear black ones. That totally goes as well. But I just want to show you how you could wear a pattern here. But if you break it up by wearing a block, then you could also wear a pattern up above. You can wear a scarf or even like a short sort of a cardigan in another pattern and it totally works. So this is another look guys. So our next look is polka dots on polka dots. Now hear me out, I know you're thinking what? Too many polka dots and your eyes might be blurring or something. And granted this is a lot of polka dots but it works. And the reason why it works is because of the belt. Now the belt with black and white polka dots, a red belt looks so good. It just, it has that like 50s vibe to it and it works really, really well. So it actually breaks up the colors and the contrast of the different color in the polka dots. So I have one here, this white polka dot dress. This one I got from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, I love the ruffles down the bottom, it's really cute. And it kind of does sit off the shoulder, but I've popped on a cardigan because I want to show you. You could totally wear it like without the cardigan, but I just want to show you how you could just pattern up. And now this uh, has the opposite. Remember the, when we did the stripes and how you had the opposite? Well, this is what I'm working with here with this cardigan. And that's why red looks really good. And if, if you didn't have real red and you popped a black belt, I think that would also work as well because it also, it kind of blocks out a section and it makes the colors work together. Uh, I've popped on some black shoes, just some black sandals, work, heels, anything, whatever makes you comfortable. You could even wear black boots if you wanted to. 
and in my bag i'm wearing the one with the pop of red so if you had just a red bag that would also look really good so even if you had like a black belt then you could have like a pink bag or something but i would really recommend a bag in color because that really brings the outfit together because i've got the red belt i wanted to have a little bit of red and even my bag is patterned but it still really goes with the outfit so this is definitely po polka dots are so easy to wear i love polka dots you don't really find too much of them these are a little bit bigger Sometimes you get those really tiny polka dots and from far they don't even look like polka dots which is a really easy way to wear patterns without feeling like you're wearing patterns if you're somebody who doesn't like patterns. But in this regard, you can totally see these, these polka dots and they look cute and if you like polka dots, this is the way to go. So this is look number polka dots. <laughs> And lastly, we have some color and some pattern. So I have here, I want to show you guys how you can match some different patterns together. Now the skirt here is a check. So it's just got like boxes. Um, you know, even if you had checks, uh, I know it's mainly based on black, which is why I've probably paired the color. But it still has checks and still a pattern. So this is a great skirt that if you're starting off into patterns and you really don't like patterns, it's something that you can wear and not feel like you're too outside of your box. So this is something you could definitely wear to work and feel comfortable wearing it. So what I've paired it here with is this colorful long sleeve top. Now, oh, this was a bodysuit and I've just cut into a top, but I feel like the colors are also a kind of shaped like prism sort of stuff. And I just want to show you how color works so good with patterns. Uh, I've even got my denim blue shoes. I feel like that also works, bringing the color into it. Feeling happy, it's nice and bright and I really like this combo. I've just got my plain like black bag because this is like my really comfy bag, my favorite. Uh, and it really works well. So you could definitely, I mean, don't be shy to wear color to work. It's, it's okay. Like if you're actually going into work and you're not working from home. I'm thinking, I was just thinking on a day like today where it's raining so heavily. If you're someone who works from home, you would really quite enjoy that you don't have to like catch the train or public transport in the rain. Um, back to my outfit now this is definitely an outfit that you could wear i feel like even for like a business meeting or well i guess it depends on where you're headed but like lunch anything like it's really cool you even if you were to like put sneakers on and another backpack you would make it into a casual look so it's really quite versatile it depends on how you want to dress something up i just wanted to show you a look that you could wear a little bit dressier one might say where i could go uh, for lunch, for dinner, for walking around the shops even. But if you're not a fan of wearing heels, pop flats on, that also works super well. I guess my point is I want to show you how you can wear the two patterns together and it really works well. And initially you might be like, oh, that's never going to go. But it's not until you actually pop things on that you will then realize that they actually work together. And it doesn't really, you know what, it doesn't really matter half the time. As long as you're comfortable and you think you look good, that's really all that matters because someone's probably looking at this going, no stands you know. But we all have different tastes, remember that at the end of the day. So different things work for different people. And I guess that's the good thing of it with fashion. It's fashion is really what you want to make of it. So I just want to give you some examples of things that you could possibly put together if you didn't like think that you could. All right, guys, this is the last outfit and I'll catch up with you for a final chit chat. Okay, guys, and that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the looks that I put together for you with all the different patterns. I mean, there's heaps more patterns that you can uh, come up with and also that I do have, but I try to limit it to five looks so we're not here all day. I try to also do looks that you could wear pretty much any day all day and not really too specific to events uh plus you also know me my fashion taste is more i guess like day to day and matchy matchy one might say but that's just my taste and we all have different tastes uh it's getting a little bit noisy out here there's lots of trucks outside so i hope you guys don't hear the noise uh you probably don't to me it's like a little bit distracting i find so when i'm talking i can see things behind you and then it kind of distracts me as i'm talking uh once again if you haven't subscribed subscribe comment down below which outfit was your favorite but also comment down below what patterns that you enjoy wearing yourself do you have a favorite because there are people who like somebody like love stripes so they always wear stripes so comment down below and let me know uh once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye